How's it going lads and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I've got for you is some Elite One Squad Battles rewards. Of course, before the Squad Battles rewards, let me let me let me turn this down a little bit. You want to see my beautiful face, surely. <laughs> Yikes. Before the Squad Battle Rewards, of course, we're gonna open my weekly reward packs because I just like opening them really. Not expecting anything from either of these 15k packs, but I just find it kind of fun, I'm not going to lie. Just the thought of potentially getting something, even though you're probably never going to get anything from these, is a nice thought to me. So I thought I'd quickly open these before getting into the Elite 1 Squad Battle Rewards. I mean, hang on, let me quickly check for consumables, because there might be... Eh, nah, not really. Uh, what else is there? A contract pack. Okay, um, that's just not what I wanted to open. This just ain't it, Chief. This ain't it. Okay, let me open up the second Jumbo Premium Gold Pack real quick. Can we get some a decent? It's not going <laughs> to... It's not going to be a walkout, however, can it be a board drop? My famous phrase, apparently. Um, and no, it can't be, sadly. So, we're going to jump on to the uh, the Elite One Squad Battles rewards and hopefully get better packs than 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 this, because this is just, it just ain't it. It really ain't it, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm going to start off over here with Joel's uh, Elite One Squad Battles. He also has marquee matchup packs, I believe, in the store for us, so that's pretty dope. They see Elite One squad battles, and uh, for that we get two rare mega packs and 30,000 coins. And I don't have a clue who that is, so uh, I can't really judge that guy's squad. Uh, but let's jump into it anyway. We've got a couple of rare gold packs, I think, a Prime Legend Players Pack, Small Prime Mixed Players Pack, the weekly pre-order pack that you get for pre-ordering the game. If you pre-ordered the Champions Edition, you get one per week, and if you pre-ordered the Ultimate Edition, you get two. And Joel actually gets a board drop in it. It's going to be a Portuguese CDM. It's going to be Danilo Pereira. A3 rated, it's always decent getting a board drop in a free pack, especially one that is a pre-order pack, as opposed to one that you've earned, so that's always nice. Go ahead and sort, store all that to the club. Then we'll go with the rare gold pack. Um, these are sometimes decent, to be fair, so uh, you never know. However, it's not going to be a walkout in this uh, in this particular one. In fact, it's not going to be a board drop in this particular one. It's going to be Murillo, or Murillo, so... Disappointing, to be honest. And I know I say disappointing a lot, but it's disappointing, all right? You can't deny that it's not disappointing, because it is disappointing. Um, but let's go with the uh, let's go with this small prime mixed players pack, because you never know. You never know. It could be decent. Probably won't be, but it could be. Um, what's it going to be? It's going to be a board drop, actually. It's going to be a German center mid. It's going to be Draxler. Don't think Draxler holds any kind of value at all. However, we could check... I'll have a quick look, see if Draxler goes for anything. Um, he might go for something like for an SBC or something. He goes for 4,000 coins. It's nice. It's, it's a free free 4K, essentially, um, and a few like silvers and stuff there. That's not too bad. So we'll store him to the transfer list, and we'll go into the uh, the Prime Electrum Players Pack. Again, could be decent, probably won't be. Uh, not expecting a whole lot from this. It's going to be a non-walkout. It's going to be an inform, though. Go on, be Pato. It's going to be ooh, American Striker. I really hope... Oh, it's Zardes. Oh, damn. It's actually a decent card as well. I believe he has four-star, four-star this year. Might have four-star, three-star. I'm not 100%, but I'll quickly check how much he goes for. Damn, he's a discard? Oh, yeah, he has got four-star, three-star, but it's uh, it's three-star skills. He used to have four-star skills, but not anymore. It's a discard inform. That's kind of disappointing because that's a really, really solid card. Um, He's only 17 years of age as well. Or, no, he's 18 now. Is he? No, 17. He's just turned 17. What? How old is he? 1991. Am I being stupid? I'm the biggest idiot there is, aren't I? Because I'm 18. I'm, I'm 19. I was born in 98. He's like 26. Ryan, you're a pleb. All right. Well, you know what? Whatever. I just pretend I didn't say any of that, please. Let's just pretend. You know, let's just, just cut. Just cut. Uh, let's go into the rare mega pack, though. First one. Uh, can we get something decent from this pack? That's the question. It's not going to be a board, sadly. It's going to be Tyson. Tyson. That's disappointing. I'm still a little bit hung up about the fact that I just said that that Zardes was was 17 and like he's just not. He's just not. He's like 26 or 27. 26. 27. 27. He's 20, 27 years old. Is he? How old is Zardes? He is old that's all i know he's old all right i'm gonna stop talking about it now let's just let's just pretend that i wasn't talking about it okay we'll go ahead and uh store pontus jansen to the uh to the <laughs> to the transfer list i just I, i've dug myself into a massive hole here and i cannot get out of it so i just got to carry on talking my way out of this giant hole it's not going to be a walkout in the second rare mega pack but it will be a board drop which is good it's gonna be a belgian center mid oh i thought it might be nine golan 
Dembele is not bad though. Dembele is a car that has a market value of rum roll please 12 and a half k not bad actually it's actually decent it's a 12 and a half k card there not bad at all anything else decent in the pack a dan there as well not too shabby there's a couple of duplicate items is there a son there's not a son i always look for son whenever there's an 84 rated card in the pack so not a bad few pulls out i think he made about 30 40 000 coins there from rewards it's not too shabby, to be fair. Let's go ahead and open the second batch of Elite One rewards. Okay, Johnny's rewards now. Of course, Elite One as well. And before Johnny's mugged it off and he's got Elite Two. No, he does actually have Elite One this time. Um, he made a good joke about it, uh, actually. Uh, so let's go ahead and open his uh, pack. He's got 1.3 million coins, actually. What team is he rocking right now? It's a pretty solid team. It's it's more of a cheaper side compared to what he's used to, I believe. I think he usually has like Pogba, for example, um, and players like that. However, he's gone with more like uh, more of the, you know, the Firmino instead and the, the, the Fabinho instead of the Pogba, for example. You know, it's it, it's a little bit cheaper, but he's got 1.3 million coins to play with and maybe more after these rewards. So we'll open up his, um, his weekly pre-order packs, obviously the two 15k packs, just to start it off, just to... Just to, just to start, I think we've got a board drop in this one. Why do I feel like we've got a board? We haven't got a board drop. I'm trying to like, I, 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 I feel like there's like a theory, a conspiracy theory behind how long it pauses for, depending on if it's going to be a board drop or not. I've got a weird like, honestly, it's a weird theory. It's like a weird like tinfoil hat thing um, and, and I'm trying to work it out. Not quite worked it out yet. So I'm like, every time I see it pause for a little bit longer, I'm like, is that a board drop? Is that a walkout? No? Okay. Um, so obviously we only have the normal towers that we have for like the walkout. I'm just trying to find if there's something else. And I just don't think there is sadly as we get Dusan Tadic from the second pack. It's just not great, is it? So we of course have the two rare mega packs to open next. We'll go ahead and open those bad boys. Um, these are actually the elite one squad battles awards. And I think rare mega packs are really good packs. They're some of my favorite packs. If I was to choose my favorite, they'd definitely be probably rare mega packs. So first one. What are we going to get from this one? Can it be something decent? It's going to be a board drop. I can tell as well uh, from the uh, from the lights. It's going to be, sadly, Savage. Um, as soon as he's Montenegro, you know it's going to be Savage. But if you guys notice, when the pack's like this, like the two boards, as it opens up, the lights are different with a board drop as the, the lights beam out. So you can tell pretty much like a second and a half before the pack actually like bursts open. But it's nothing like too incredible. So, you know, don't... Don't, don't be upset if you can't spot it, really. And that is probably not the best of packs. Um, what I do like about these packs, though, is the, the coin value in consumables. Like, squad finishes, you can get 1,000 coins for each of these squad finishes. So, there's 3,000 coins there. We have a center forward to cam card, which is about 4,000 coins, 4,500 coins right now. Um, you've got a draft token. Holy crap. What a pack. 3,000 coins, a draft token, which is incredible. Uh, you've got a bunch of discards. They, as you see, Pogba actually sold. I knew he had Pogba. Um, you've got a couple of consumables that maybe you get 250 for, like the, the, the contrast and stuff. And, of course, you have the discard value of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 players, which is about 5,400 coins. So... And we got 3,000 coins. It's not a bad pack at all. And that draft token holds a 15k value, whether you want to actually value it at 15,000 coins or not, because you can't sell it. You essentially save 15,000 coins on your next draft. So, second rare mega pack. Can we at least get a walkout from this? Damn, no, we cannot. We cannot get a walkout, sadly. It's not going to be a board drop either. Is it going to be? It's not even going to be Eric Bai. It's going to be going to be Seri, sadly, from uh, from Fulham. And I was actually shocked. I do want to quickly mention this, and I want to hear your opinions on this. I was so excited for fifa 19 because i'm like wow we've got so many good players like seri we've got so many good players like felipe anderson and we're like a month into the game and everyone's already rocking god squads with like neymar and bappe bale etc it's crazy i was not expecting people to get good squads like that that quickly so that is it for this video if you guys did enjoy smash a like down below subscribe to the channel if you guys are new around here thank you all for watching i really appreciate it and i'll see you lads later